Hello. Oh, hello. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I know. Sorry. I was trying to get on earlier with you and then, you know, <laughs> hey, you have a new background. I love it. I did. I did. I switched some things around. I thought I'd go with the globe. I love it. I love it. All right. So are we on Facebook now? I want to make sure. <laughs> this is what I think we are. So I think we're good to go, right? It looks like I always try to see on there. But um, as you look, let me know if it's not, but I think it's good. And I had to get, um, I was hoping for some admin help, so we'll see how it works. But if anyone's on here on Facebook, send something, maybe so we can see that. As Melissa's trying to see if there's, if everyone's on live. Okay, I sent an invite out to everyone because they've been a little bit since we talked about people that are looking for jobs right now, we focus a lot of times recruiters and different parts about the career and headhunting, but there's so many people out of work right now. And, you know, the whole, um, this helping you find a job, it comes down to, we did a poll Monday and headhunting housewives group, which is full of headhunters, but also just women and people, you know, looking for the next career move. And everyone's like, okay, we need help with a job search. So that's what we specialize in. Um, and so Melissa and I just want to talk today about um, the three things, really, right? There's three things you need to do from the start. And a lot of people kind of get stuck in that and don't know where to start with it or um, what they should be doing on the weekly with it. So I just want to jump right in and just say what those three things are. And Melissa, I like to talk about, you know, each one a little more and how we help because we help in different ways, depending on how much people need help, you know. But um, the three things are first is, and this is like a no brainer, right? But your resume, I mean, it sounds like it should be a no brainer, but you would be shocked at how many people looking for jobs that their resume, they're sending out an old resume, an outdated resume, a resume that when a recruiter looks at it, it is not, it's not good, <laughs> right? I mean, we see it and if they don't have the right things bolded or just visually, spatially as the recruiters or HR quickly go through, it's just not stuff in the right format, right? So um, that's number one. Again, we'll dive in with Melissa, like how we go about helping because we can either just quickly try to help and give you tips on how to make it better. And then for people that want to kind of work with us more one-on-one, -on -one, we dive in workshops and actually, well, Melissa does it for you, right? Or other recruiters can do it. Too. <laughs> so, but, you know, so it depends on what help you need, right? But so the resume is the first thing. Um, and then with the resume is, of course, the video resume, which I think is very new to many people. Um, which you need in this day and age, right? I think a lot of people still aren't aware of that, especially for certain positions, right? So, I mean, sales, of course, and, you know, yeah. when you get hired executives, um, just unless you're like in a lab or something that really, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, most jobs, even I hired a web developer recently and you would think, okay, maybe they don't need a video resume. It got, it, got them hired in two weeks because it speeds up the process, oh. right? So anyway, so as an example, so everyone should have a video resume. And again, we can tell you how to do it. You can do it, you know, on your iPhone now by yourself in three minutes. But most people need a guide, right? They need a, they need a guide. They need a recruiter to walk them through it. And that even then leads you into getting some free virtual interviewing help, which is also what you need to get good at, right? I mean, college students right now are being sent out to go do higher views, you know, and then there's moms coming in that have never interviewed that, you know, from never been in the workforce. It's all video now. So if you're a college student or a mom, an executive, you better be good at interview, though, right? I mean, on video. Mm -hmm. So practice with some recruiters before you're thrown into the deep end with the real job, right? So anyway, so the whole, so the, the resume, the video resume, uh, number two, LinkedIn profile, and we'll talk about that. And then number three is a really important too is the job hunt because so many people don't know how to go about the hunt. How to, where do you go look at the jobs? Is it only on LinkedIn? Should it be on Indeed? Do you go on Career Builder? Do you go on Glassdoor? Do you go on these different ones that are out there? How do you do it? How what's the best way to send your resume? Which we know as recruiters for the poor candidates that don't know, it can go in a black hole. So once again, you need a guide, you need a recruiter to help you more than you think to get seen or else you'll send a hundred resumes and it'll go into a black hole that the recruiter won't even say, right? So uh, the hunt is so important, knowing how to do it the right way and then having a hunter with you, you know, like a Melissa or like a recruiter helping you. So those are the three overview. And so I'll, I'll shut up now, Melissa, to give you a little air time too and see. But I guess think just going to that one, two, three, thinking about maybe, you know, what you think about that, the resume, what you see. I would love one day when we go on these calls and if people want to come on live, Share the resume. Come on, break. Get, we'll share screen after our little time chatting. Whoever wants to hop on today, they're having trouble finding a job. You know, you got the Zoom invite at the end of this little chat. You could jump on. You can share resume. I know it's kind of, you know, we'll make a little public place for that. But 
you know, just to get an idea of what it looks like. So, um, but yeah, you speak, you're the expert in that too, Melissa. Speak about resume and, and those one, two, threes. Yep, the resume uh, is really important. Um, you know, I was working with somebody earlier this week, just a friend of mine, sent over her resume to me and I was like, I think I know exactly what we need to start with right here. And it was, it was formatting. It was just even going from one uh, font to a different font that was just more pleasing to the eye. Um, it was just cutting things out and placing them in different places on the resume um, and adding skills to it because people need to see that you are MS Office technologies that you use, you know, what different ATSs might you have used or other, you know, different technologies that I don't even know about, but, you know, where should they be on your resume? Um, volunteer work, something about yourself that's personal, you know, that can be on there too. Um, you know, it's it's really important on a resume because it does, it goes through an ATS system, it comes through to a recruiter sitting on the other end of it, and they are, they're going through each resume, they're like, oh my gosh, look at all these, you know, errors on this person's resume, and they'll, they'll overlook you for that, you know? They're not going to necessarily reach out to you and be like, can you fix this before I send this over? If they get on the phone with you, they might offer you those tips and tricks to get to the next level. But a workshop on a resume workshop 30 minutes, one time, we can clean that right up for you, no problem. Yep. No, I love that. And I think I love that so many um, at all levels are, um, you know, the clients that are actually candidates that have become clients, they were using the same resume uh, for months, right? I mean, I had someone I was talked to that for a year, he's been looking for a job, right? And then it's like, well, no wonder, <laughs> you know, if you look yeah. at the resume and it's like in five minutes with you, Melissa, right? It's like, oh, let's fix that. Let's bold this. Let's phase this out. Yep. You know, the executives, well, where are the numbers, the revenues? Like sometimes it's not just the formatting, but what's in there? Like, what have you done? People don't always care about, you know, maybe um, just the, the jobs that you're doing, but what difference have you made? Where are the results? Where are the numbers? Because as recruiters, we go to the numbers, right? No matter, mm -hmm. no matter what your goal is, how have you improved it since you've been there? So yeah, I think those little things, you really need a recruiter. And that's why I think recruiters make the best career advisors too, because it starts with the resume and then, you know, and, and then, you know, the going into um, the resume, I'm now going to the virtual resume or the video resume, to get that, you have to also be guided and you go through what you've done, what you want to do, and you're speaking to it, right? So it almost helps you get more clear on what have you done. Because I think you probably seem like a lot of people in doing the video resume with us, like, oh, that's a really good bullet. Let's put that in the resume because they're speaking out right. loud more. And we're asking, I think, sometimes the right questions as good interviewers that they would be asking themselves. So they're realizing, well, she's asking this question and that was impressive. That should go in the resume, right? Yep. Exactly, exactly. And then going into, um, you know, the LinkedIn portion of it, your resume and your LinkedIn profile really need to be reflective of each other. They can't be completely different and they need to be in the chronological order of, the, of your resume. So it speaks the same language, but LinkedIn, you can really make it look really beautiful. I mean, there's so many things that you can add on there. You can add your hashtag. You can put things underneath your name for your titling, different things that are going to draw people to your profile that can, helps you to stand out. Not everybody does that and spends the time on their LinkedIn profile to improve that. Mm -hmm. Yep, most definitely. It's so important. I think we've had a lot of candidates we work with and clients where we finally have their resume done, look at LinkedIn, like, oh, well, that's a whole other subject they need help on, you know, whether it's just the formatting or the actual content, like you said, right? Because all of us recruiters live on LinkedIn. So a lot of you um, ladies are listening or anyone here with us, remember you might be on Facebook a lot. And I love Facebook for connecting with, you know, a lot of women, especially, but you want to make sure you're on LinkedIn, you're growing that LinkedIn group, you're getting a profile. If you're going to be in the job market, right? Depending upon, again, a lot of different roles, but anything professional, you need to be on there. So let a recruiter help you format that and make it look good and make sure the picture, the photo, just the basic, the banner, you know, maybe you don't know how to make a banner. We can show you in two minutes how to do that, where you would struggle with that for weeks. So I feel like a lot of this is just kind of someone not going it alone, right? Like that's why recruiters yep. are always handy. So whether it's the resume now, the LinkedIn profile, you don't have to struggle for weeks and weeks to figure it out. Jump on a workshop, you know, or just a live free call, the intro call, Q and A, just in the beginning to get a, a few tips at least. They need our help. Work with us in the workshop, and then actually get it done. Get it done in a half hour. Get it done, you know, later that day. So that's the main thing. Having someone say, "Okay, this is what you need to do." Now, if you can't do it on your own, come back to us next week. We do that. A lot of our clients. That's how they come to us. Like, you know, here's what you do. Go do it on your own. If you can't get it done by next Tuesday, 
sign up. We'll we're gonna get it done for you. And they're like, all right. And then it's then it's worth the time for everybody, right? Because they're serious, they know they need the help. So um, yeah, so the LinkedIn, and I guess that brings us in again to speaking a little more about, about that number three, which is the job hunt. So this is all important. I think we had a poll a few weeks ago with candidates and they were saying they really need a lot of help around that, right? Because it's not even something you realize when you're, you know, we call it the hunt, but they're out there just looking for jobs and you think they're hit and apply, hit and apply, like, oh, they might spend an hour, we would say an hour a day, right? When you're looking for a job, it's a full-time job, especially if you're going all alone. So if you spend an hour a day looking through and applying, um, you could, you know, apply 10, 20, 30, you know, up to 100 times, but you don't know where that resume is going. So, Melissa, you want to speak to how us, again, partner with a recruiter, a career advisor that can work with them, you know, what we know that they don't, what they should be doing, if they hit the apply button to really get seen, <laughs> what's the secret? Oh, yeah, definitely. So look, the main thing really is like if there's a recruiter that's tapped to that job, you need to reach out to that recruiter and say, hey, I just applied to this position. It was really a great opportunity. I, I would love to be considered for it. Here's my video resume. Here's my word resume. If that's what you have. Um, you know, I really would like to be considered. You kind of have to like go around and get yourself seen in multiple places for that same job that you're hitting apply to. Um, it's it's very important to try to track down people in that organization, connect with them to be able to get yourself seen and heard um, because it is it's like a black hole. You know, you I've seen people on LinkedIn right now who are like, I applied to like 150 positions and I got no responses or they get a months later, they finally get some disposition notification like what the heck I didn't even. Oh, but they didn't follow up on it. You know, they didn't necessarily go and reach out to the recruiter that was on it or find somebody in TA that's attached to that company. Because when you go and you and you do that, you have the job description there that you're looking at. You're under jobs. You hit the job description that you want to see. And then it says there if there's somebody attached to it, and I'd say like 80% of the time, there's usually somebody's name there. Then you click that name and you hit connect. And then you might have to wait 24 hours if they connect with you and then you send them a message because it's not always free to send messages um and then you can go to that job when it has on the bottom there it always has the, the company you click on that company page and then it has across the board you know an overview of the company the people who are in it go to people and then look at all the people that are there and see they're going to see people's names with recruiter title you're going to see probably a hiring manager in there somewhere, shape or form. You just need to try to figure out who it is. But even if you just connect with one person, that could lead you to your name then being circulated and filtered to the right person, even if it's not the right person that you start with. Yeah, I think it's such a big secret. That's like a key, anyone listening today, so that's a key secret they don't realize until they start working with us. And, you know, I remember, you know, early on, we would do all of that sometimes for the candidate because we know how to do that. But then it was teaching the candidate, look, even as you go out and do this yourself, this is what you should do. And we're sharing screen, we show them so they, they get better at the job hunt as well, right? Because mm -hmm. some people have a lot of time that can do that. Other people have no time and want us to do that for them or find the postings each week and send it so they can, you know, they can just hit apply. So it varies, but these are really kind of great recruiter secrets to help you get seen. Um, and same with the video resume, like little details, like putting that link on your paper resume, right? Because, yep. and then if we forward it through, you know, us through Kaplan Career Advisor, through Kaplan Zach, our email sometimes will get seen as well. So it's not just LinkedIn going behind the scenes and connecting, but we can email it almost like an email marketing, um, you know, job for you. Uh, and so kind of help support in that way. So um, yeah, there's all things that you can do yourself, of course. I mean, everything we give here today, especially are free tips and how to help you get seen first. You can go get that job. Um, and these are the basic ones that I think you should be doing. If you don't have your resume been looked at by a recruiter, you know, and have the video resume done, same time you're getting practice interviewing on virtual video interviewing, that's all done that way now, right? The LinkedIn profile, one, two, three. These things can be done by the end of the week, either if you can't go do them yourself, follow back with us next week, right? And then get on some of our workshops. I mean, I have, we have um, Kaplan workshops for a resume on Mondays. I know, Melissa, you run some on Monday. I think uh, Thursday is the LinkedIn or yeah, LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. Friday afternoons, we're leaving open for helping with the job hunts, right? So yep. people that want to jump on and get some Q&A, 
Um, but you can find us on LinkedIn, you know, just DM us, Melissa, myself, at, we're easy to find if you're on there or even on Facebook, right? So okay. if you're in Headhunting Housewives group, which a lot of them this call, um, you can direct message Melissa or myself for anything that you maybe need help with. If you want to share your resume, share some information, we try to give as much free help and tips as we can. And then for those of you that are really serious that need some serious help and you just want to, you know, go fast and speed up the process, that's when you kind of come into our one-on-ones, right? So, um, yeah, so to cover, I think those are to give people three things, give power back to the people, let us help them, right? I mean, they right. have more power than these corporations. So it's like we're trying to give you all the resources. If you want that job, this is how you go get it, right? Did I miss anything? Mm -hmm. No, I just want to talk about how, you know, the last couple of people we've even met with, um, we asked them, have you ever worked with a recruiter before? And they said, no, you yeah. know, and then we come in, I, we're like wing women. I always, I always like to say that because it's like, you're, you're out there trying to flop around and try to find what you're looking for. But if you've got two people on each wing, helping you out, keeping you up and uplifted, because when you're going through a job hunt, it can be really weighing, you know, you're like, oh, I got denied again. Oh gosh, this is like bringing me down you know we come back in and we're like here we are we're here to help you let's let's redirect let's do another search together here's another link go apply to this one here's a little bit about this company you know each week we can help you through that you know that is an investment you know but it's an investment in yourself to work with someone who's going to be 100 percent focused on you yeah, that's a great point. I love that analogy because it doesn't have to be drudgery. It doesn't have to be you sitting alone, like, oh, the sitting there, like, how do I post this or the resume or no one's getting back to me. You just don't have to go it alone, right? So, right, the, right. Cl the clients we have come in, it's like they've been going doing it alone for a long time. It's been painful. And they're like, oh, you know, and right. I think it's speak more to how our program works, whether you just want to hop in a quick workshop, you know, like starting this week or next week, or want to really have a plan where we're there to partner with you week to week. Um, we keep it really simple and we keep it really fun. You know, it doesn't have to be this long, laborious process. It's meeting with us at least once a week, right? To kind of have that, whether it's a workshop or strategy calls with us too, about what you should be looking at, you know, strategizing around what title is exactly what you want now more than what you were doing. And so the resume reflects where you want to go and not where you've been, you know, like those are strategy calls. So depending upon how deep you want to get with us to make the job um, search faster and just more effective, it's up to you. But regardless, it's going to be a week-to-week, -week, quick 30-minute call, and you're going to see things moving. The resume is going to look sweet. The LinkedIn profile is going to match. Your video resume, you're going to get so much traffic on that. I mean, I love when we get all these. We should start posting more of the um, kind of social wins of people saying, oh, my God, the video resume. They got, I got in because of the video resume. Like, yeah. when people use the video resume, it's a game changer. But what percent of people are using video resume? It's like 1%, 10%? <laughs> <Yeah>. Not enough. <laughs> so. It's a differentiating factor, people. So use it to your advantage. Don't be afraid to get onto a three-minute interview. We'll guide you how, right? So, so yeah, we can go on and on. Obviously, this is our passion. Mm -hmm. Melissa and I, we are headhunting <laughs> housewives. I know we have headhunters in this group, but also just women needing help or people in the search. But that's what we love to do. We want to get you into a better career, wherever you are, get over here. We want you to make more money doing it. And we want more freedom for you. So we love those remote roles. We love, you know, the roles that can kind of, you know, be something that we're proud to put you into. So you're having recruiters like that care, you know, what your next move is, you have that support that way too with the whole heart thing we talk about. So it's um, not just one helping support you business-wise, but when you're feeling low and like, ah, oh, this is painful, it doesn't have to be that way. This can be a fun search. Even if you get laid off, I like to say to people, and I get a lot of calls from recruiters lately, they're being laid off, right? A lot of recruiters. Uh -huh. And it's yep. like, you know, welcome. It's like that book, Welcome to Your Crisis. I never heard that book yeah. years ago. And it's like, <laughs> welcome to your layoff. Welcome to this time. You're like, it's an opportunity. And like, what do you want to do? Do you want another job? And again, we just covered that, but maybe you want to start that little online business. I know so many women and recruiters, they want to do what we're doing. They want to work from home completely. They want to be a career coach. Forget about get, getting coached. They want to become kind of what we're doing. It's an easy add to uh, the headhunters that are listening to us, right? To add on. And you're helping all these candidates that need you. So, you know, it's such a win-win right now because you're getting power to the candidate. As a recruiter, you're learning this new revenue stream that's a really win-win for yourself and the candidates that need you right now. There are so many people needing more recruiters to be career advisors, to, to partner with them, yep. right? Not just the company. I know we've always gotten paid. But um, but yeah, now is the best time is to get going on that. And that way, yes, you're not alone doing that. So um, yeah, so I think we covered, I think, pretty much everything there. We'll do another, I think, series. I know this is all about getting a job. I know another poll was about if you want to start that own business, you know, DM us too, because 
I love talking about that maybe even more than finding a job. It's like, if you're not finding a job, yeah. you're finding a client, right? It's like, right? you're going to find a job, you're going to find a client, like, you know, and, and so, and we have, you know, expertise in both those. I've been in business for years. You work very independent as a recruiter for years, you know, so we want to hear, help you and support you, show you how we've done it, do it in a 10 week pathway, week to week, simple, fun, ladies, make more money, have more freedom, have more fun, right? Become a head honey housewife or use one of us to go get you a better job. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> good, good. Well, that was good. We did that in 20 minutes. And so um, I did, I don't think I see anyone, I had opened it up in case anybody wanted to do live Q&A. So unless I'm yeah. not seeing that, if anyone's watching right now, I want to put in the comments, which I'm not very good at seeing what's happening on Facebook once we're on the Zoom, but um, if you're not on the live and you want the replay, I'm going to try to post this later. So feel free in the comments to write replay or me, just be you know, maybe who's listening, who's wanting this. If you want help with the resume, LinkedIn, anything we talked about, um, if you comment in the comments here on Facebook, Melissa and I can go back after and see maybe who needs some help. And then we can private message you and help you the tips that you need. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, and uh, if you want to book a call, that's always easy too. So just DM us, right? Yep. Exactly. Yeah, I did see um, there's no messages, but my mom is watching. Thank you, mom. Oh, see, right? I, I love that. I miss your mom. Hi, mom. I mean, the moms need help too, right? The moms want to do yeah. different things in their life. I mean, you get a certain age, like, all right, I can sit in the beach all day, or maybe I want to do something else to give back and make some money too, right? So the moms exactly. need support more than anybody at all ages. So, well, thank you, mom, for watching. And um, <laughs> this kind of goes out to what comes back. And thanks, Melissa. It's fun as always. And then um, I'll see you tonight with our client. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. I'll see you later tonight. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.